Hi everyone, welcome to RaiGoodFood.com. In this video, we will discuss about how to create a confluence template. So if you are new to this channel and looking forward to learn about confluence from beginners to expert level, consider watching complete playlists. Let's understand today's agenda, then we will move further with practical demo. We we'll discuss here how to create a template in Confluence, how to promote template, how to edit or delete the template wherever it is required or we can see using template. We we'll discuss about basic concept of the templates and the types of template in this section. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with creation of template and the operations. So for creating a template, once we log in on Confluence pages, we have to select our space where you can see this page will be available. Go to space settings and from space settings, select contain tools. Post selecting contain tools, you are able to see by default templates which is already available inside your login credential. You are able to see this template is here but if you are looking forward to create a new template for your requirement then you can select create new template and the page or creation page will be available in front of you so let's understand what is template so template is basically divided into space templates and global templates the template which we are creating is right now as a speech templates. These pages templates are available in a specific space only. If we have space administrator permissions, we can define template via the space administration string. Global template is basically used for all, all of the space and we are creating outside the space and this will require confluence administrator permission. We can define global templates via the confluence administrations so let's understand how we create the templates creating template as i said we have to click on create new template and provide the name so let's understand if we want to process invoice details for any organizations or off for, for all the project then we can create it so let's give the name of this template as the invoice processing invoice same detail and here let's add some contents let me add here the table where we can add the organization name organization name amount invoice date date and the project so let me add one more column here project now let me add here as a tcs amount is 5000 rupees invoice date 0704 2021 and the project EVM. Let's add here as a reliable firm of Rai Gurukul 7000 invoice date 08042021 and the project is education. Now, if you want, you can add it several other operations like adding some more contents, but I want to keep this much contain as of now. So, let's save this. Now, you can see my invoice processing detail template is available here. If I want to add the description of this template, I will add it. ORG 
invoice process now you can see that session is successfully added for this page here now you can see here there is a three options are available where on selecting edit option for this template i will add it all of the template details whenever it is required i can add header columns numbered columns or several other details inside my template post adding these details when i will click on save tab this template will be saved for me now if you want to share this template with your other team members or with other external environment user click on promote and this template will be available to use for them unless and until you will not promote this content is available inside your space and it will not uh, notify to the others and whenever you will click on promote this will be available on top of every template and users can use it at any point of time so if you want to share this template you can directly share the url of this template or either in the mail or any other sections or any other pages as well if you want to delete this template at any point of time you can delete it on selecting delete template now you can also include variable inside this template so let's understand what is variable so template variable when we add variable to our template we will act as a form fields when we create a page based on a template we'll see a text entry box for each fields enter data in each fields and it will be added to the page we can add the same variable more than one in same template which is useful if you need the same information in more than one place on the pages so creating a new template or editing a template for the editor tool let's do that now in the editor tool here we can add the variables new variables so if you want to add any specific variable we can add it like in the text or multi line text or in the list format and whenever it is required we can add it this variable in terms of form so let's see if i am adding location so you can see here it's available in text multi line text and list format so let's add this as a dollar location and click on save so this will be saved for our required positions the dollar is the variable name then we are entering press to add new variables or select an existing variable from the list so let's add and whenever we want to add the labels we can add into multi line text as well so you can see here the multi line text is added here the text area you can see here so if you want to add a display in the fields uh, you can add it according to your requirements you can also include images and other attachments inside this and instrumentations or instructional text as well so post adding this just click on save and this content will be saved for your template so this is all about how to create a template inside your confluence pages do the editing operations deleting and you can use the template at any point of time so that's all about creation of template in confluence pages hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching